Hi, in this video, we're going to see how to put two y-axis in a single figure in MATLAB. So at the end of the video, we're going to use or generate a figure something like this. So here you can see it has two y-axis. On the left, it has a blue sine curve and on the right, it has an orange um, exponential curve. So let's jump back to MATLAB and see how to plot a single figure with two y-axis. So first, let's just define the x-axis variable, which is the angle for here. Let's say this goes from 0 to 2 pi with an increment of 0 0.01. So this is the array that goes from 0 to 2 pi with an increment of 0 0.01. The y-axis, the y1 should be defined as sine of x. As for example, we're, we're going to do that. And for another function, let's say y2 is an exponential function. And we're going to put semicolon to suppress the output. So you can use other functions here. I'm just using sine and exponential functions as an example. All right, now we're going to use um, a command that's called yy-axis that's going to define the two y-axis in our single plot. So I'm comment here, uh, I'll comment here, generate two y-axis. Okay, so the command is yy-axis left. So here, as I say yy-axis left, it means that Whatever I put here, it will plot it in the y-axis to the left of the figure. So let's just say the left of the figure has plot x in the x-axis. So both has x common. So x stays the same. And then it should have y1 because we want to put sine x in the left y-axis. Okay. And then if I say yy-axis right and plot here. So whatever I plot here, it's going to plot in the right of the y-axis. So now we'll say exponential function is in the right y-axis. So if I do that, and if I run it from the editor, you can see I have generated two different plots. And the blue one uh, is the left axis and has the sine function. And the red one is the exponential function and its values are in the right y-axis. Now, I haven't added any titles or any labels, so we can do that here. So to do that, um, I can say title, um, let's say pl plotting to y-axis. So it doesn't matter wherever I put title, uh, and uh, x label because it's all common. So I'll put I'll put here. Let's say the x label label is angle. Now, whenever I put y label here, it's gonna label the left y axis because I'm in the left y y axis left here. So if I say sine wave, so that's gonna put the label of sine wave in the left y axis. Now, whatever I write bottom in the in the bottom of this y-axis right is going to put that in the right y-axis. So, if I put y label exponential function and let's run it, and now you can see it added the title and the x label. Also, the left y-axis has a label of sine wave and the right one has exponential function. Now, let's see how to add a limit in these y-axis. Now, to add a limit, we can use the command called ylim for only adding limit in the y-axis. But if we use the ylim here after the y-y-axis left, it's going to limit the left y-axis. And if we, if we are going to use the ylim here, at the bottom of the yy axis right, it's going to limit the right y axis. 
So let's say here, if I write ylim, parenthesis, bracket, and let's say ylim goes from 0 to 1. And now if I run it, it's going to limit the left y-axis, but leave the right y-axis as it was. As you can see, it goes from 0 to 1, and the right y-axis is auto for this case. If we add similarly um, here, the ylim, it's going to independently control the right y-axis. So let's say 500 for this. If I run it, now you can see it has limited the right y-axis as from 0 to 500. So from these uh, figure, we can see that we can use two different y-axis in a single figure. To do that, we have used yy-axis left, yy-axis right, and wherever we plot in the yy-axis left, it will be plotted in the left, left axis, and whatever we write on the bottom of the yy-axis right, it's going to plot and implement that in the right y-axis. So that's it for now. Um, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.